Good day everyone. This video is intended to be a tutorial of installation procedure of sweat ball valves. Before watching this video, it is important to carefully read and understand the IOM manual. The function of this tutorial is to provide visualization of the instructions included in the manual and does not replace information contained in the manual. For safety purposes, please refer to ASTM B828, ANSI Z49.1, and all local standards. Individuals performing solder process should be skilled installers with knowledge of ASTM B828 standard regarding standard practice making capillary joints by soldering of copper tubes and fittings. Now before getting started, here are some practical information provided for understanding the valve you are going to install. The valve is bidirectional. This means fluid can flow either from left to right or from right to left regardless of installed position. The valve is made of low lead alloy, meeting US law requirements for domestic water applications. Metal pipes are subject to expansion and contraction during operations. It is important to consider this characteristic prior to installation. Now before starting the installation, following ASTM B828 standards, properly measure and cut the pipes, ream all cut ends to remove any burrs, and clean all oxides from tube ends and valve cup surfaces. Tube ends should be lightly abraded to promote surface contact. Now we are prepared for step-by-step -step procedures of the soldering process. First, add flux to both joining surfaces of the tube and valve cups and insert the pipe into the valve cup. It is important to assure valve is in open position to allow heat to escape. We strongly recommend wrapping the valve with a wet rag. This functions as a cooling technique and protection from excess heat that can potentially damage internal seats or O-rings. Always be sure to keep flame away from the rag to avoid risk of fire. Start the heating process by preheating copper pipe. Then heat valve cup near the ends, having care not directly heating body section of valve. Preheating time will vary due to installation characteristics, including valve and pipe sizes, and ambient temperature and conditions. Now referring to horizontal installations, start applying the filler metal at the bottom of the joint, then upward. By starting at the lowest position, a dam will be created within the joint to reduce runoff of filler material throughout sweat process. Repeat this same process for other end. Before this step, slightly move the handle clear of flame area to avoid heating of vinyl grip, but do not completely close valve. A 45 degree angle is perfect. It's also acceptable to keep the valve in this position for the entire process, provided it doesn't create inconvenience or safe handling of the valve. For installations in vertical positions, make a similar sequence. At the end of the process, it is necessary to allow a valve to cool naturally and not use water or other fluid to expedite the cooling. Always test joint for proper seal prior to service. For operation, move the handle accordingly to arrows on the lever handle to position for the intended open or close function of the application. In closing, it's beneficial to understand that you have now installed a valve designed with a double O-ring stem technology. This design provides maintenance-free operation for life of installation and will require no periodic adjustments common with packing gland type ball valves. Thank you for your attention.